ஏஆர்சி கருத்தரிப்பு மையம் குழந்தையின்மைக்கு ஒரு முழுமையான தீர்வு ஐம் டாக்டர் ஆபிதா பர்வின் கன்சல்டன்ட் ரீப்ரொடக்டிவ் ஸ்பெஷலிஸ்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஏஆர்சி நெல்லை பிரான்ச் வில் சி அபவுட் ஐவிஎஃப் அண்ட் ஐ இக்ஸி ஆக்சுவலி ஐவிஎஃப் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் இன்விட்ரோ ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் இன் விச் வி டேக் ஓம் ஃப்ரம் தி பாலிக்கல்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி ஃபீமேல் பார்ட்னர் அண்ட் ஸ்பர்ம்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி மேல் பார்ட்னர் அண்ட் வி இன்ஜெக்ட் ஈச் ஆஃப் தெம் அண்ட் கெட் த எம்ப்ரியோஸ் அந்த எம்ப்ரியோஸ் ஆர் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர்ட் இன் டு தி மதர்ஸ் ஓம் திஸ் இஸ் பேசிக் லைன் ஆஃப் டெஸ்ட் பேபி இன் திஸ் த எம்ப்ரியோஸ் ஆர் ஃபார்ம் அவுட் சைட் தி ஓம் ரேதர் தன் தி இன்சைட் தட் இஸ் வை இட் இஸ் டேர்ம் இன் விட்ரோ ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் இன் திஸ் இன் விட்ரோ ஃபர்டிலைசேஷன் த போத் மேல் அண்ட் ஃபீமேல் பார்ட்னர்ஸ் ஆர் யூஷுவலி டன் பேசிக் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன்ஸ் Uh, and they are evaluated uh, the hormonal profile is uh, adjusted and uh, when everything is normal uh, when the patient doesn't conceive usually with uh, ordinary treatments or adjuvants or medical treatments or with uh, uh, basic stimulation drugs or when uh, when they have repeated failures with intrauterine insemination we go in for in vitro fertilization so in this in vitro fertilization usually Uh, the female partner is asked to come on uh, day 2 of the cycle uh, we do some basic hormonal profile during the day when everything falls in normal we do a basic scan uh, when their uh, uh, uterus is okay when the follicles are okay we start them with regular injections stimulation injections and we ask them to come every day for taking up the injections uh, we follow them with the scans Uh, we do uh, follicular monitoring when the follicle goes to a particular size when it gets dominant we usually give injections for them uh, for the rupture so when uh, uh, after uh, giving injection for rupture the patient uh, we we prepare them for oocyte retrieval uh, in the oocyte retrieval it is a simple procedure in which under a uh, under a, a small uh, anesthesia the patient is uh, usually has to lie down on a table we we clean them and uh, with ultrasound guidance the follicles are retrieved and the uh, with the help of the embryologist the uh, patient's husband uh, male partner is asked to give semen sample which is being processed before and kept so once the follicles are retrieved this uh, they look for a mature follicle when the follicles are normal they feed it with the uh, sperms so uh, when the embryos are formed the embryos are followed for 48 to 72 hours so when the, uh, the embryos growth is monitored by the embryologist with the uh, embryoscope and when the embryos uh, grows uh, that uh, when the doesn't grow well or when it uh, gets arrested at a particular stage those embryos are discarded and uh, the good embryos which are, which goes through all the stages are being uh, kept and it can be followed up with either a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer this fresh embryo transfer when the endometrium is good for the patient when it can receive the embryos at a particular stage this fresh uh, embryos are transferred in the same cycle of the Uh, uh, stimulated cycle itself in a frozen embryo transfer cycle when the endometrium is not good when the patient's uh, endometrial condition is not better to receive that processed embryos usually the embryos are freeze and and it is kept in a cryo can uh, the next uh, subsequent cycles the patients are uh, kept uh, 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 they are followed up and their endometrium is prepared well they are they with uh, adequate tablets and the hormonal supplementation and this uh, embryos uh, which are frozen or thawed and it is uh, like uh, like we see how the embryo grows and this embryos with uh, viable embryos are transferred through a catheter into the uterine womb so after embryo transfer we we usually ask the patient uh, couple to stay back in the hospital for 15 days where they are given adequate rest dietary advice psychological counseling and doctors uh, visits so uh, when after following up them for 15 days we usually do blood test and in uh, urine test 
and uh, we check for the positivity. Once the uh, results come positive, uh, the couples are allowed to go back home. They need adequate rest. They should not do strenuous work. They should not have any constipation. Uh, they should not travel long. And they are given hormonal supplementation and supplementary drugs. So once everything gets normal, the patient are asked to call, uh, come back after two to three weeks, where we do follow up scan to check for the fetal uh, gestational say, uh, sac and viability. Uh, and uh, the patients are followed up in a meticulous way. They are given every visit. They are given a, a specific counseling, how to take care of them, how to take care of the baby. They are given adequate tablets. They are given immunizations. And they are followed up with NT scan, Down syndrome screening, and we do anomaly scan. And uh, uh, we do growth scan at equal intervals. Uh, we do supplement with them uh, hormonal supplementation and we take the pregnancy so that the couple goes home with a beautiful baby back home. ARC Karutharippu Mayyam Kulundayin Maikku Uru Uru Vayana Thirvu